the early 1880s, France decided to subjugate Madagascar. However, the Malagasy Kingdom refused to submit. In 1883, during the First Franco-Malagasy War, the French sent a punitive expedition to force submission on the island. The aggressor ships brutally bombarded the coastal settlements. The invaders managed to forcefully impose control over Madagascar's external affairs, but the French wanted more. A few years later, they started a full-scale military invasion and in 1895, captured the capital, Antananarivo. The colonists exiled Queen Ranavalana III and her prime minister, Raini Laravani, abroad. Then the invaders began to clear the island from the malcontents with iron and blood. In 1896, France declared a protectorate over Madagascar and in 1897 annexed the island. The suppression of the liberation movement erupted into merciless massacres. The capture of Madagascar led to tragic consequences. Natural resources were in the hands of French corporations, all local schools were closed, and the French language was imposed on the population. The terror lasted 15 years and resulted in the death of at least 100,000 Malagasy people. The colonial regime left an open wound in the history of Madagascar, but violence was never able to suppress the Malagasy striving for freedom.